local barber tells me it's time for cosmetology schools to throw away the textbook. They're not teaching enough about textured hair. I'm your Appleton neighborhood reporter Olivia Acre with a closer look at black hair care in the Fox Valley. Eight years into his barber career, Dartavius Woods is starting to see some attention on textured hair. When he moved to the Fox Valley as a child, it was a different story. There wasn't too many barbers that were good at cutting black people's hair. So we, uh, as kids, started cutting each other hair. Woods eventually went to cosmetology school, but says lessons on textured hair were few and far between. For two hours, maybe, something like that. Woods and others say the education and products can be hard to come by. We know that people are not being educated in hair schools. We get a lot of families saying that they don't have the expertise needed to make sure that their children feel their best and look their best. Kristen Kelly from local nonprofit People of Progression calls this an equity gap. There isn't that community voice being able to say that this is really what we need. She used to work at a local domestic abuse shelter where she first discovered the gap. The shelter did not have any hair care items for black community members or people with textured hair. But it's always been in the back of her mind. I was never able to find a salon. Once we found a hair care stylist, I can tell you that I have been going to the same hair care stylist for over 25 years and because of the trauma that I experienced as a child. Woods shared a similar story. We struggle with finding, you know, a barber that could do our our hair how we want it. To raise awareness, People of Progression are hosting an Afro hair fair where they'll take donations for shelters. Plus, Woods and other local experts will talk about the history of textured hair and demonstrate some techniques. So everybody the skills I got. The Afro hair fair is Saturday, February 24th at Fox Valley Tech. For more information about the event and how you can donate, go to NBC26.com. In Appleton, Olivia Acre, NBC26.